Is this bull market over and why are we seeing this massive bloodbath for altcoins? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi. In today's video, we're going to give an answer to if this bull market is over. Also an answer to why are we seeing this bloodbath in the altcoins? Of course, answering a question of the followers, also talking about news and giving an inspirational quote at the end. Let's quickly jump into that news first to see what is happening to the altcoins. The news today, guys, is that the crypto market cap has fallen with 3.5% all the way to 2.46 trillion US dollar at the moment. The biggest losers were Shiba Inu and Avax. They have fallen with like 10 and 12% each. Huge bloodbath. We had, when I opened, yes, I saw only red on my screen. So now the question is, what is the reason for that massive bloodbath? Nobody knows, guys. The only thing that we can relate to is the massive outflow in the spot ETFs last week. We flowed out more than $600 million worth of Bitcoin. And maybe tied to that outflow, people get a little bit insecure about this market and start to sell their altcoins as well. I don't see any correlations aside of that one. There is no bad news about altcoins. It is not bad timing. There is no strange things happening. There were no hacks. There were nothing. Nothing special is happening. It's just that there is a massive outflow of Bitcoin Bitcoin even dropping to 65k levels and that is followed up now by all the altcoins suffering even more. But that's what I always tell you guys. The altcoins will rise quicker, they will have more profits, but they will fall deeper as well. And that's what we see now. When Bitcoin falls with a couple of percent, the altcoins, most of them are falling with double digits, like 10%, 15%, or even 20%, whatever it is, guys. So we don't know exactly what it is, but it's probably tied to all those outflows in the Bitcoin spot ETF that makes everyone a little bit insecure. And that is now exactly what you shouldn't be at this moment. This is the phase of the cycle where we have a very boring period in the summer. And especially now with the European Championship of Football going on, means that there is three matches a day. All those people that normally are watching, like also crypto, are now watching all these games. They have summer holidays. They are not going to spend their time in summer behind the laptop trading or researching crypto. They will take a pause. And that pause has been there each and every cycle. It is always happening. That's why they always say, go away in May, come back in September or something, because May, June, July, August, they will be boring months. Like I said in yesterday's video, it can take another 100 days of sideways movement, three months, before that second huge run in Bitcoin will start. You see it on the charts. It happened every cycle. It's not something that I just grab out of thin air or suck out of my thumb. It's something that you can see on the charts. Every cycle, the same thing happened. It took 150 days after the halving for Bitcoin to calm down, go sideways, even have a dip. And after that 150 days, that massive run started. Now, I am here to keep you motivated for those 150 days. And it's going to take me a lot of energy to keep you motivated for 150 days because I exactly know where you will be now in that cycle. You will be now in giving up. You will be now in, ah, Bitcoin is not for me. Look, it's nothing, doing nothing. It's boring. It's not outperforming anything. Ah, I shouldn't have bought. Maybe I'm in loss even. I know where you are. I've been there. I've been in this moment already for three cycles. Don't give up. Don't have weak hands, have strong hands. When the blood is on the streets, that is the moment you should be buying into those assets. At the moment, Bitcoin is at 65K. That is the level that you were crying for, asking for when we were at 74K. Please give me one more opportunity for the dip. Now that dip is there, that dip is there for you to buy. Stop crying, start buying. This is where you make your profits, buying Bitcoin at these prices in the next 100 days of sideways movements. After that, we will see 12 months of bullish movements where you will be able to take your profits. But I agree, the next 90 days can still be very boring. But please, stop crying, start buying. Now let's see how that all influenced the market. Let's jump into the charts. The first chart for today, guys, like always, is the four hour chart on trading view, guys. On this four hour chart, we can see that this wick over here of this candle 
even went down to a low of 64,500 US dollar. So that was already in a 64K level area that we went down. Is this the end or do we have enough strength to bounce from this? It is a big wake. It all depends on how this candle here is going to close in a couple of minutes, 34 minutes. Let's see if that candle will be able to close above that yellow line again. The yellow line could be a little bit lower like this over there. Uh, if we close above that, that is bullish. If we close down below that, we can again visit that 64K area, guys. Here on the bottom, guys, we can see the blue line is going steeply down. Yes, so it's not positive. And uh, we can see a lot of blue in the bottom, which also is not bullish. Let's see how this will play out. But this doesn't look like a very strong Bitcoin at the moment, guys. If we zoom out to the day chart, then at the moment, also on the day chart, it doesn't look very positive because we need to hodl that yellow line and if we don't hold that strong uh, support level then we fall down with the level and then we will fall to the next support level on the daily chart and the next support level on the daily chart is around that 60k level over here guys that is where we will fall then so if we don't keep this level as support which should keep because it's a massive level of support and resistance so we should keep it but if we don't keep it we will fall down lower guys to these levels of 64k force before we go maybe even to the 60k level which of course would be amazing opportunities to buy bitcoin again always keep your eye also here on the bottom on that rsi because here check if that rsi drops down below um, that line over there that dotted line the 30 line that is the moment you see a huge bounce previous here also bounce so we are nearing that dollar line that rsi will be bottoming out when that bottoms out you should start adding to your portfolio because that will be the reversal again to take some profits now let's look at some other interesting charts this is the first one this first one shows you indeed yes here is 65k a lot of liquidations all the way all the way down to 64,500 where still some people will be liquidated but then after that the massive amount of liquidations is starting to build over here 66,500 to 67,500 that will be the next level we will visit we will maybe be going down a little bit to here but then we will jump again back to there before you know it. We can also see that the Bitcoin inflow to exchanges um, is increasing. So more and more Bitcoins have been sent to the exchanges. We can see over here, this is June 15, for example. So we can see a lot of Bitcoins flowing into the exchanges. This is June 16. Also, a lot of Bitcoins flow in the exchanges. So yes, a lot of Bitcoin go to the exchanges. Why? Because people are afraid and when they are afraid they want to sell their bitcoins to take some profit or to break even and that is why these bitcoins are flowing into the exchange. You can see the purple and the dark purple ones. These are the one day to one week, the one week to one month and the one month to three month. Those people that bought in that period they are now sending their bitcoins already back to the exchanges. The people that bought between seven and ten years ago or between five and seven years ago or three to five or even two to three years ago these people on the bottom, they are not sending their Bitcoins to exchanges. They understand the four-year cycle. This new blood, these new people that just accumulated Bitcoin this year for the first, they don't understand the four-year cycle. They are moving their Bitcoins to the exchanges to be able to sell them because they think that this bull market is over. I will come with an answer to that question very soon. Now, where are we on this Wall Street cheat sheet? Many people refer to this sheet as the sheet that uh, shows where we are in this uh, moment when it comes to the psychology of a market cycle. I believe either we are now in disbelief, you know, this rally will fail like all the others, or now here in the dip after hope, you know, there where we already saw a massive run and now we are like dipping back to this level and then go sideways for some time, the boring summer before we take off. That is exactly where I think we are at the moment, the sideways movement. The disbelief we already had in the beginning around 30k uh, to 40k levels. Then we went back to the 70k level where we think, hey, maybe we can do and go make new ultimize. But it will take a very long time, a sideways, 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 and then bam, we explode. Something like that. That's my opinion. Some people say, no, we are in complacency, but that is maybe very short term sided. I'm talking about the very long term, like monthly moves in Bitcoin, for example. And that's also what we see on this chart. Look, when we broke that previous all-time high from that moment till that new top, we made 6,800% in 308 days. 
Then the next time we did that same thing, we broke that previous all-time high. It took a total of 322 days to create 2,128%. And now the previous bull market, we did the same. When we broke that previous all-time high of 20K, we took 378 days to have a 429% profit. And now this was the new all-time high. And here now we do the same. We are breaking that all-time high. It will take another 300 days, which is almost a year, before we will see a profit. And if that profit will be in line with the decrease of the profits, like over here, less profit, less profit, maybe it will only be 107% profit, but it still would bring us to 140 to 150,000 US dollar, exactly the target I've been telling you already for months. So yes, it's not as much as profit as the previous bull market, but doubling your capital from this level in the next 300 days is still a beautiful return on investment. And on this chart, you can see how the Bitcoin price history with halvings, highs and lows went, guys. We went to $29. We fell to a bear market bottom of $2. The halving was $12. This is the moment I started to invest in Bitcoin. This is also the moment when I started to mine Bitcoin. Then we went all the way up to the $1,200 mark. I still remember it. And I thought we would be billionaires. And then we fell back to $200. And I thought, oh, maybe it's time to leave this industry. Then the halving was at 600 US dollars. That was when I really understood, wow, Bitcoin is bouncing back. This is not over. This is the technology of the future. This is the money of the future. This is the gold of the future. This is going to be a peaceful revolution. This is going to be very important. That is when I started to sell my goods and my house. And I had a massive bull run to 20K. When I thought, wow, maybe we can even go to 30K. But then we fell back to 3K. And I started to add more, of course, to my portfolio at that moment because I sold a little bit. And on these levels, I bought those back over there. Then the next halving was 8,500 US dollar. And again, we created a new all-time high of 67,000 US dollar. And also, of course, also a new bear market bottom of 16,000 US dollar. Five times as high as the previous bear market. And now again, we are around 67,000 US dollar. We still need to make a new bull market top. As you can see, this is the halving price. This was the halving price. This was the halving price. And that was the halving price. 12 to 600 to 8,500 to 67,000. And now that top will come above 100,000 US dollar in 2025. It is simple as that. I hope you really enjoyed those charts for today, guys. Yes, amazing charts. Again, short-term volatility is there for traders. Long-term, same message as always. Zoom out in Bitcoin. Look at that bigger picture. We will be going up in this four-year cycle. Zoom in at life during these moments of boredness, of these moments that you feel too bored to look at the market. Zoom in at life. Enjoy every single minute of the day. I saw even Plan B tweeting, hey, I'm off sailing. Why is he off sailing? Because the market is too negative. The market is too boring. There is no use case to be online at the moment if you don't like the market. Wait for a couple of weeks and the market will become positive again. And then you will be also relaxed and zen because you zoomed out in Bitcoin and you zoomed in in life. You took some time to enjoy life to the fullest, guys. So that is my take on this whole market. Please stop crying, start buying, zoom out in Bitcoin and zoom in in life. That's the perfect combo for now. The crypto tip for today, guys, is a meme token because you have been asking me every day again and again, Didi, which meme tokens are you buying? OK, I am buying Tate. Yes, Tate of Andrew Tate. There is now a meme coin of Andrew Tate. They launched yesterday and people told me, hey, Didi, check this one. I checked it and it's funny as hell. Just check the opening video already of this meme coin. It's really cool. And I know that the team behind it is a big team that does a lot of meme tokens and they do know what they are doing. And they have a shitload of funny stuff coming up, guys. So I did invest a little bit in the meme token, please. Be aware, meme tokens is not Bitcoin. Meme tokens is not altcoin. Meme tokens is even not NFTs. It's just a part of the industry that makes the industry a little bit more fun. And that's why I invest, because I love to have more fun every day. You need to wake up every day with a smile on your face because of that fun that you have of this industry. So there is also, yes, a red market, but there is also cool meme tokens that create humor, and I love that. So check out the ticker estate. That's also the Twitter account, the ticker estate. But check out their opening video 
yes, I am investing a couple of hundred dollars into this meme coin as I think, you know, it will go up just like that Trump token and all those other tokens that are being pumped uh, by the community just because it's funny. This one, making fun of Andrew Tate is really funny. Just check it out. The meme token tip for today is Tate. The most asked question of the last couple of days is Didi, is it over? And yes, I need to smile about that because for me, it's so logical to see what is happening. But I understand that for you, it's really difficult because maybe it's your first cycle and that is why you're asking me this question. Didi, is it over? You know, I bought Bitcoin at 70,000 US dollar and Bitcoin is falling down. Are we going to crash to 60K and 50K and 40K? Is this the end? Once more, because I already talked about it in this video, but I'm going to answer it once more because I want this video to really be clear for you guys. In my opinion, it is not over. We are just getting started. We just experienced the halving in April of 2024. Mostly the three months after the halving, May, June, July, will be sideways to boring months, sometimes with a dip, sometimes with a little bit of a run and then again a dip, but they will be always sideways boring months. It's summer in most parts of the world. People are not watching their crypto portfolio. They are enjoying life with their family because they have holiday time. Now, after those three months, if you look on the charts, just check this chart one more time. After those three months, Bitcoin will go up into that massive bull run. Because during that time, a shitload of liquidity will flow into this industry again. Also because we're dipping now to 65k, even if we dip to 60k, a lot of people were dreaming of buying at those levels when we were at 675k. Now they have the chance to buy in that level again. So they will slowly start to dollar cost average into Bitcoin at these levels. And that is what you all should be doing. Dollar cost average. Buy all these dips. There will be a moment after the summer that that Bitcoin bull run, the second part, will take off, bringing Bitcoin into these new all-time highs above 74K, above 80K, above 90K, even above 100K to fully, fully, fully blast off in 2025 all the way to the end in September. We cannot be running too fast now because then the top won't be in September 2025 and it will be around that period. So this cool off period now is not bad. Cool off period in the summer, we will run all the way up till December, mostly January, February 2025, again a little bit of a dip, and then March all the way till September, again another run all the way up to that new bull market top that I believe is between 120 and 160,000 US dollar per Bitcoin. So buying Bitcoin around 60,000 US dollar it's almost tripling your capital within 12 to 16 months. Where else do you want to make that type of return of investment? Nowhere. So again, for me, that answer is very clear. It is not over. It's just getting started. When the blood is on the streets, you start to buy. Stop crying, start buying. And we are going to end the video with an inspirational quote. That one for today is, the best way to predict your future is to create it. I think it's very important that people understand that you create your own life. So if you want to be able to predict that future, start to create your future. You don't need to be predicting it. You don't need to be dreaming about it. You don't need to be thinking about it. You need to start creating it. Of course. It all starts with a dream. Of course, it all starts with a thought. But there will be a moment you need to stop thinking, you need to stop dreaming about that future, but you need to stop acting. Create your own future. It's very simple. Everything in life happens because of your choices. Everything. You waking up this morning, that is your choice. You can also sleep late. You having children, it's your choice. You have children. You going to start a new passion, a new sport, is your choice. You will start a new sport. You going to a bar to meet new people, that's your choice. You will meet new people, also new opportunities because of that. It all depends on your choice. It's not just something that happens. You need to start acting as well. And when you start acting and when you will get into that flow, yes, more things start to happen. You know, the law of attraction, more things will come to your path that you dreamt about. But if you keep dreaming and you keep living in that dream state, 
you will never start creating. And you need to create your own future. And you do that by making important decisions on your life. If you don't decide to change, you won't change. So if you want to be able to predict the future, it all starts with you. You need to start acting. I'm not saying that you need to stop dreaming, always keep dreaming about new futures, about new lives, about new possibilities. But it needs to be a combination of dreaming, wishing for something, but also acting. You need to start acting. You need to start to walk the walk instead of talking the talk or dreaming the talk, however you would call that. That's the easiest part. And I know that's the most difficult part, but it's very important. If you want to see a different future than you see at the moment, you need to start now with changing that future because you can create your own future. If I now decide at this moment, I'm gonna stop making YouTube videos and I'm gonna go and travel now to Hollywood to pursue a acting career, whatever it is, I can do that and that will change my future. If I decide now, hey, I'm done with the social media, I'm done with Bitcoin, I'm done with YouTube, I'm gonna cash out, I'm gonna buy a beautiful house somewhere in a beautiful country, I'm gonna live there the rest of my life without any social media, without any Bitcoin involvement anymore, just enjoying my capital till the end with my children and everyone else, I am the one that could decide that and it will change my future. If I keep doing what I'm doing now, my future will be the same as the things that I'm doing now. I will be still making YouTube videos in the future. I will still be educating people through YouTube videos and other things about Bitcoin, blockchain and life. I will still be supporting this peaceful anarchy revolution of Bitcoin. If I don't change, I will still be doing that. If I change, I will be doing something else. I hope you understand. That's also what I mean with grab life by the balls. You are in control. You are completely in control. It's all you. You decide what you're going to do today, tomorrow, and in the far future. You can create your own future. I think it's very important that you understand this. Now, that was everything for today. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about the charts? What do you think about all the rest of this video? Thanks for watching. I wish you an amazing day and see you tomorrow again.